Live inside the Mall of Asia Arena here in Pasay City at ngayon naman ang FU Pep Squad ang nagpapainit ng hard court ng Mall of Asia Arena. Score is 43 for UE, 31 for FU as we continue our live and exclusive ABS-CBN sports coverage right here on SNA. Let's take a look at some of the highlights of that first half. Kenneth Tuffin knocking down a three-pointer. And we're going to be talking about the importance of three-pointers in the first half so far as we just saw one of the five main triples by Jason Barilla from beyond the arc. We're talking about three-point shooting. FU only with two three-point makes in that first half, while UE already with six. They're shooting six of 17. The team that is averages 18% from long distance this season, shooting 35%, so doubling that average. So just two three-pointers. Kenneth Tupfin and Arvin Talitina, the only two players able to hit that three-point shot. Arvin Pasol did not start this ball game, but it did not matter because he also Already finished with 15 points in the first half alone. Two leading scorers, or he tied Barilla as the two leading scorers here for the UE Red Warriors. You see the field goal shooting in favor of the Red Warriors, 44% as compared to 31%. Assist number also, surprisingly, in favor of UE, 10 to 7. They have 10 assists on 15 made field goals. Perimeter points, they've also dominated the Tamaraos 22 to 10. The FU is the number two team in terms of perimeter scoring bench points as well. And this is primarily because Pasaol came off the bench. 15 of those 18 bench points coming from the baby tank. Alvin Pasaol is a one-man bench mob. <laughs> and we take a look at Jason Varela. 15 points, just one shy of his career high. Arvin Tolentino, siya po ng una para sa kumuna ni Coach Olsen Rosella with seven points. And assist numbers also, Richard Escoto, surprisingly, leading assist man for FU. Philip Manalang doing a better job setting up his teammates. Three assists in the ball game as well for, for the United Warriors. In total, they have 10 assists. We talked, that, uh, talked about that. And also, one of the numbers that is really good for UE, only six turnovers. No turnover points as of yet for the FU Tamaraos, while UE has six points scored off turnovers. So, not allowing FU to capitalize on any of their mistakes. Now, partner, earlier, I saw Sydney Crespo walk out of the tunnel, and I couldn't describe the emotion on her face, but uh, let's try to find out what went down in the huddle of uh, the dugout of Coach Olsen Rosella and the FU Tamaraos. Go ahead, Sydney. Tama ka dyan, Anton. Alam mo, grabe yung iba. Yung pakiramdam kanina sa loob ng dugout, pero sabi ni Coach Olsen sa first half, na huwag tayong mainip, depensa muna bago ang opensa. Ganito kasimple ang sinabi niya matapos lumamang ng UE. Halata ang frustration sa mukha ng mga Tamaraos. Kaya nga pagpasok ag agad ng dugout, tumayo si Team Captain Richard Escoto sa gitna at sinabi niyang, gusto nating manalo ngayon against UE at dapat matuto na tayo sa kung anong nangyari sa first half. Ngayon naman para sa second half, sabi ni assistant coach Johnny Abariantos that they need more ball movement in order to avoid their hurry shots. Ano sa tingin niyo, Anton and Marco? Sid, dahil nga napakaganda ng ball movement ng kanilang mga kalaban ang University of the East Red Warriors and that is one of the reasons why they are up right now. Nakikita natin, Almost every possession, five yeah. players get to touch that basketball. That's correct, Anton. And another thing that uh, UE has done, they've also played great defense, especially against the Prince Urizu. Prince Urizu, after scoring 15 points in their last game against UP, four points pa lang ang ginagawa nito si Prince Urizu. And you have to credit the likes of uh, Wilson Bartolome, Alan Beltran, really putting the clamps on the big man. Now, partner, earlier, naikwento sa atin ni Mix Gomez na ang goal down ni Coach Joe Silva is to shoot at least 10 three-pointers per game. Mix, nakaka-anim na sila. Yes. <laughs> well, Anton and Marco, yun nga, we're gonna go back to three-point shooting. And we saw Jason Varilla just make five three-point shots in uh, the first half. And you know what? That's actually the formula na hinahanap nga ng Union Red, Red Warriors this season. In the first half, we saw that. And we also saw Alvin Pasol still force his way to score some points. But sinabi sa atin assistant coach Paul Artadi na mas mahalaga pa rin talaga ang offensive execution more than anything else. Yun na nga rin ang sinabi kanina ni Sidney sa kanyang report. And you know what? Ikikwento ko sa inyo na pagpasok ko sa dugout, I saw one thing on the board. It said 0-0. Yan ang magiging mentality ng UE Red Warriors sa score nila 
uh, you know, starting in the second half. Dahil nga, this is the first time they have the lead so that they can protect it and win their first game of the season. Balik sa inyo, Anton and Marco. Maraming salamat, Mitch. I like that mentality. You yourself, partner, no coach Joe Silva very well. At may binigay na namang stat sa atin ng ating kaibigan, si Pong Ducanes. And this is very interesting, partner. Teams with a double-digit yeah. lead at the half this season are 6 and all. Ganyan kagalig si Pong Ducanes. Wala talaga nakakalampas na ganyang klase mga stats. And you know, I know he coach Joe Silva, he does not want his team to rest on that good first half. And of course, our Mogu Mogu shake of the game right here. A very energetic UE Red Warriors fans. Tignan natin kung ganun pa rin ang kanilang mga galaw as we are about to enter second half here inside the Mall of Asia Arena in Pasay City. Maraming salamat muli sa inyong panonood. Anton Rojas together with Marco Benitez. And we just heard from Sydney Crespo of FEU and Mix Gomez of and, the University. You know, partner, if there was a time to double your sense of urgency, this would be it because FEU, we all know, is the number second best offensive team in the league in terms of points per 100 possessions.